All right, welcome back to SnowRunner, and I'm here in the garage with the Fleet Start F2070A. Both of them, but we're going to be using this one, and I've took the liberty to kit it out with appropriate stickers. There's one there, there's one on the hood, there's one on the left and on the right. Perfect. All right, before... Or I am going oh hey wait 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 that these are the maps that I've already explored and that I'm able to move to just for information that there's only two trucks here it shows like here the images there's one heavy truck and a scout vehicle uh, here it says garage open, garage open. These two are locked. If I go to, for example, Alaska here. Here I can spawn into the garage, but yeah, I'm not going to, of course. Tamir, same, same concept. Garage open, Kola Peninsula. Same here. In Mandra, that's one of the hardest areas in the game so far known. Uh, garage open here, flood the foothills in Yukon. And so on and so forth. I have all the uh, all the DLCs opened, unlocked, ready to go. Um, yeah, but first, let's move this night along to the morning and see if we can rescue that little scout truck of ours with this leak star i really do hope that i'm able to do it because otherwise i'm going to have an issue and i'm going to be able to go through this water here i really do hope that i am able to do that but yeah we'll see This does not vote very well for us. First, first water I see, I'm stuck already. <sighs> but due to some off-roady tricks. Can hook you there. And the trees not the trees are not going to be too happy with that. But honestly. I don't really care. It's just a virtual tree. Come on. This is just a virtual truck. Get out of there. And like I always said, progression is progression. As small as it is, I'm still seeing it move a little bit. inch by inch so I will get through this because it's quite tedious <laughs> just for you guys as well watching it just as much as it's for me but the magic of editing editing is that you don't have to sit through it only me So I'll see you guys on the other side. All right. Well, I got through that <laughs> quite quickly after. Um, yeah, now we're going to tackle this. And also, this is going to be quite a testament to what I'm going to be capable of in the longer run. Uh, and then I don't mean like 
tomorrow. <laughs> I mean that as in, like, am I going to be able to do the mission for the fixer-upper? Am I going to be able to fix that roadway? And am I going to be able to get through this map with the vehicles I currently have? Uh, this is going to show the state of my progression so far. This task of rescuing the little scout truck. As well as my skills, of course, but mainly... It's mainly the, the performance of the vehicles. Because if the vehicles can't get through the mud, then how am I supposed to? I will slow myself down here. No, don't tip over. Come on. We can all just play nice. Play nice, play nice. Come on. Play nice now. Let's get that momentum going. Let's keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. Um, am I going to be able to get past this at all in some way? Uh, doesn't have to be the greatest way, but any way will do. Still seems to have grip. And it seems to go onto the rocky part, so that's good. And we are moving. We got through the mud. That's good. That's great. We're there. We are there. Now when this truck gets back to the garage, it's going to get the car platform. No matter what, it's going to get that platform on the back. No, not that winch point. That one. Now, flip. There you go. Now that was all I needed to do. My work is done here. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna drive this back to the garage and then I'll see you guys uh, when I'm there. Of course, if there's going to be anything interesting in the meantime, I'll bring you back. But this is going to be easy because there's trees on the other side. And trees are my best friends.
All right, well, we're back at the garage. That part back there with the uh, with the rocks. I think I ran out of skill there. Uh. Oh wait, I was going to award this one with um, this one with the towing platform. But it's an S now. No need for a towing platform, not yet. All right, let's go back to the Scout 800. I put it back here, and yeah, the I took a risk on the Fleet Star, uh, bringing it home with really low amount of fuel, so that I could refuel the Scout, so that we can just keep on moving. We still have enough repair points in our arsenal to actually get this done uh if we are able to get over this yeah over this hump then we will go this way to get to the road because i don't really feel much for going through that mud pool currently oh this is a farm field uh, do i trust the farm field I do not trust the farm field. This is not a tractor. This is why I do not trust the farm field. That's exactly why I do not trust the farm field. I'm going to stay along the edge. In between the trees. The trees knows, know what's up. Except for that little one. He doesn't know what's up, but... That's why it's still a little one. It's got to live and learn, you know? And here is the hard pavement. Here we are, finally. Ah, oh, we're free. Free to move along. Uh, yeah. Hold, 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 hold up. Let's go up here. Accept this task. We're not going to do it, just accept it. That's it. Threatening accident. Yeah, that's every day if you let me drive here, you know. Alright, let's uh, move on to the other side of this dam. Damn. Damn. Fix that engine, fix that suspension, and everything is good to go again. Elizabeth, uh, you done messed me up. I was not paying attention. All right, <laughs> let's now get over this dam. I'm so over it. All right. Ain't that a pretty view, though? Hold on. Isn't that... Yeah, that's an upgrade over there. I can see that. Huh, nice. Quite a good render distance. And somewhere over there, a little bit further on, there's an unlucky fisherman who got his truck stuck in the water. But I'm not going to do anything with that currently. Dang it. More bridge to fix. Smithville Bridge. Uh, can I get through this? Am I big boy enough? Are there enough twigs? There are enough twigs though. This one, I can barely almost reach the tree. 
So if you can reach that one, and pull me forward. I said pull me forward, not away from the tree. Come on, come on. Can I reach? I can reach. Let's go. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Uh, that's going to be a future me problem. Not a current me problem. But I gotta get through it again. I know that already. <laughs> hey, unlucky fisherman. I knew that because of the icon. Alright, I'm um, just going to follow this road all the way to the end, I think. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I hope I'm not going to get really stuck into anything. I was on my way to the... Watchtower. But I think I will get there... Eventually, if I keep following this road, if my memory serves me right. Last time I touched this map was like at least... Alright, it was yesterday, okay, but when I touched this map on my own playthrough by myself before I started doing it on YouTube, let me say it like that. Uh, the last time I did this playthrough, or last time I touched the map when it was fully revealed, must have been at least a year ish ago. No, not that way. Am I going to be able to winch anywhere? No. Alright, I gotta. I gotta do something going back. You know, turning while well, not in all wheel drive is not really the strong suit of this car. You know, in all wheel drive it listens very well. But when you're not in all wheel drive, then you're going to be like, oh, but why are you not in all-wheel drive? Because gas. Yeah, but you just fueled up. Yeah, I did. But I also need. I also know that I need to go back. And look at how hurt my truck already is. I'm just going to repair. As much as I can. Ah, I still can't fully repair. Alright. Let's keep going. <laughs> This is so going to hurt me to go back all the way. Going to be a pain in the ass. You want me to bring this trailer to the boulders. You've got to be kidding me. I'm just going to go in with a truck to the the maintenance area, whatever it's called, service area, and get the parts there. It's going to be a lot easier. That's going to be a lot easier, uh, even though the, taking the easy route mainly ends up in pain, but I think that one's not going to end up in as much of, as much of a pain as this one. Um, 
Yeah, but it's still cruising. I like this road though. Because it's paved. You should do that in more places. Oh, now it's no longer paved. But it's still hardened. I like that. I like hardened places. Not in that way. But I do like hardened surfaces to drive on. You dirty mind. Are we near that watchtower yet? Are we? No, don't hit the guardrail. Come on, man. Learn how to turn when you're not in a little drive. Get a grip on those front tires. Uh, oh, we're almost there. Uh, no. Can you not take the pole? That's a whole lot better to cling on to. Exactly. See, no, that wasn't that hard at all, was it? Just flip over somewhere where you can get a... Where you can get flipped back. Wasn't that hard, was it? Actually, it was quite easy. And no need for a whole rescue crew. You wuss. Alright, um... Just driving a pavement is not going to be as... fun as you would anticipate it. Um, I'm running out of out of topics to talk about quickly before we're there and like I say oh look it's the side road to the watchtower but it's not or maybe it is oh yeah here I spoiled the fun oh look it's the side road to the watchtower yeah doesn't have nearly as much of a flare as when you've already said it Uh, yeah, look, it's the side road to the watchtower, but, but then it's painful. No, don't flip. Come on. And don't get stuck, please. Just want that watchtower. Come on, man. You can do this. See, you're already here. Really? You're that tired? Oh, that's so cute. Come on, man. Why you gotta make this so painful? There we go. Then you... There. You tippy, tippy mess. But it did help me a lot with turning around. Thank you very much. Now, this is the map fully uncovered. Or fully uncovered for as far as we're going to be able to uncover it with the watchtowers. Um, am I happy with it? Eh, do I have any choice? <laughs> no, I do not.
Do I know that? Um, will I be able to? Because we're not going to call it an episode here yet. Get this upgrade, that upgrade, and then go back. Will I be able to? Will I risk it? Hmm. Yes, I will. Just for a change of scenery. I will risk it. And I know this is going to be uh, painful for myself to do, but it'll be worth it in the end, because then we're going to have the upgrades already, and then we don't have to fight for them in a later stage when we only have big stuff. Wait. No. 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 Just... Just go and get them. <laughs> go and get those upgrades. Don't be making this painful for me. Alright, well, I'll see you guys at the first uh, upgrade. I don't think the road going there is going to be very interesting. Uh, if it is, then of course I'll bring you guys back. If it's not, then you'll see me there. All right, I got the first upgrade, and it's for the White Western Star. Ray Suspension. That's going to come in handy. Not sure for what, but it will. All right, fueled up, and let's get back out of here and back into the mud. Not that deep into the mud. Ooh. You... Crazy vehicle. Come on. And let's get into the next. Don't tip over yet. There's no no way to get a rescue crew up here. Alright, where do I turn in? Oh, I turn back now. I turn in here, I think. Yeah, it looks... Like I can use this as a road. Kind of. Yeah. Well, uh... It's a bit of a... Mountain edge. So I'm going to keep you guys here. It's quite steep and edgy. And risky. Uh, is it going to be worth it? Don't know. Am I going to try? I'm already doing it, aren't I? Uh, there's no backing down now, so yeah, I'm kind of stuck with my with the decision I made. Uh, I hope I can still see the road by the time I get there. By the time I get anywhere, actually. Uh, but we're still moving, so that's good. Uh, do I like this? Uh, no. Ah, there we are. We're free. Out of the grips of the swamp. Back into the grips of the swamp, and we're out. Yeah. Do I regret my decision? A little. Uh, is it going to be easier than the way back? I think I'm already f more than halfway so far, so yeah, I think it's going to be easier to just continue.
Plus, we have more than enough gas and supplies with us to fix anything that's going to be a remote problem for now. For now. I know that there's going to be more of an issue later on if something breaks, actually. So. Okay, we need to go there, and then in there, and then back there. So we're just going to continue. We're not going to flip over because there is no way of getting a rescue crew here. Not in our current state. And I don't really feel much for exploring with that. Lead star! There we go. Ninja winching all the way. My way to safety. Get your nose in check. There we go. Get up. And this is the road to the upgrade. Am I going to be able to turn around? I don't think so. Is that going to be a pain in the ass? Yeah, probably. I am going to be able to turn around. Nice. That's perfect. Reway gearbox. For the Scout 800, CK 1500, Defender 110, Khan 317, Sentinel, the Hummer, uh, Land Rover Defender, Jeep Wrangler, Gore BY4, Jeep CJ7 Renegade, Apache Tus 166, Don 71, Neo Falcon 2000, Khan Loaf, ER 87, Khan 39 Marshall, and the Resvani Her Hercules 6x6. I thought it said 66, but 6x6. Six six. Stop. Don't drop. Alright. Time to head back. To the garage. I'm just going to time lapse the ride. Just like last episode. If I flip over. Because I'm quite sure that's going to happen. Because that's how we always end the episode. I'm going to bring you guys back. And in the meantime, just enjoy the time lapse with some music. See you there. Was quite a trip you got a really good clean well-deserved clean and fix uh, here I had some upgrades for the freeway gearbox are we going to use it no because uh, freeway gearbox is not anything I want to use uh, the tires we're using are already good 
No, no need for snorkel. Roof rack's good. And there's nothing of interest here. Is there anything of interest in the Fleet Star? That I can upgrade. No, 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 no. No. And no. Even though it's free, just get it get it get rid of it. Uh no. Well then. That does it for this episode. Uh next episode we will get started on fixing the road here. And it looks like there's a Chevrolet CK fifteen hundred for grabs there. I would like to start getting that. All right, a lot of rambling later. Uh, next episode, I'm going to fix the boulders. I'm going to fix the bridge. And I'm going to claim that CK1500 because it's going to be quite an asset if I'm able to actually get it. And I think it's going to be good. But that's only for the next episode because... That's all I have time for today. Also, if I'm not doing it today, it's not going to be able to get out on Monday, this video. And looking at when I've posted it below the video here, you're going to be able to see if I was able to get it out on Monday, yes or no. So that will be the answer. So I hope you had a fantastic weekend, and I hope you will have, and I hope you will have a fantastic week, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out! <laughs>